guys, today's video is about Photoshop brushes and tips and tricks, so let's get into it. But before we do, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Let me tell you where to get high quality Photoshop brushes. First thing is Brush Yeezy. Brush Yeezy is a huge collection of Photoshop brushes, Photoshop patterns, textures, actions, and much more. Arcanine Visualization is an award-winning architectural visualization studio located south of London. They also have some rendering tutorials on YouTube. DeviantArt is the world's largest online social community for artists and art enthusiasts, allowing people to connect through the creation and sharing of art. And it's another good site to download brushes and much more. Last but not least, show it better. Show It Better is another good YouTube channel that teaches architectural visualization similar to mine and they also have their own Photoshop brushes. How to install them? You can go to the brushes manager and from the drop down menu you can add your brushes using the load brushes button. So let's get into the tips. First thing you need to know, some brushes shortcut. So the first thing is shift to draw straight. The bracket to increase or decrease your brush size. You can also use shift and the brackets to change the brush hardness. Comma or a dot to change your brush from previous to the next brush. And then my personal favorite is when you're using the brush tool, you can press any number be between 0 and 9 and the brush opacity will set it to 1 for 10, 9 for 90%, 0 for 100% and then press shift and a number to adjust the flow. Change the brush angle. Sometimes you might want to change the angle of the brush. To do this, you can go to the brushes manager and change the angle of the brush by rotating the circle. This trick is very useful when you want to add shadows. When you are using the brush tool, hold down Alt and the right mouse button for a preview of the brush tip size and hardness. You can drag it down and up to increase or decrease hardness and drag right or left to change the size. Tilt canvas. When painting, it's often easier to rotate the canvas rather than try to bend your wrist into an uncomfortable position. Just as a sketcher would angle a piece of paper. You can angle your canvas by holding down R and then dragging it around. Release R and you'll flip back to your original tool. To revert to normal, hold down R and then you can click reset view in the options. Create a brush. You can also create a brush tip from any image you like. You simply need to convert it to monochrome and then make a selection. Go to edit, define brush preset. And only the dark parts are recorded. Any parts that are pure white aren't included in the brush tip. I have created a light bulb. And if you go to the brushes menu, you can change a few settings like spacing, texture and all that. And then you can customize your brushes to exactly how you like them. And then it's easy for you to add to your images. And that is all the tips and tricks that I have for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Question of the day is, which fictional character would be the most boring to meet in real life? Please subscribe if you haven't already and share the video to all of your friends. Let me know in the comments what do you think of our new end screen. And here is another video for you to check out. I'm Rosha Shiroro and I'll see you next time.